Hey guys, and today is a beautiful day because I'm back, and I'm back with a bang. Maybe not. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm sorry it's been so long. It's just been emotional, hectic, uh, all at the same time. My sister has left and gone on her mission to Barbados, and I can't believe it. I'm all alone. But thank you guys for all your support and love. It really, really means a lot. First things first though, this video has been requested by so many people. You guys, my friends, people on Twitter, Instagram, whoever, whoever you are, you've been requesting it and I am going to be doing it. There are so many different videos on this and I thought, well, if you guys have requested it, you obviously want to see how I do it. It's probably the same as what you've seen before, or you might never, never have seen this before. So, here goes. This is how to wash your makeup brushes. First things you will need when washing your brushes is a small container. It doesn't have to be huge because you're not going to be using a lot. This is the one I'm using. You can use a bowl, a box, a just something to put liquids in. The next thing you will need is some washing up liquid. I am using Fairy because I love Fairy. Olive oil, that's a virgin olive oil. And the other thing you will need is this little guy or girl. This is conditioner. You can use any kind of conditioner as long as it's not too harsh on specific hair types or even, in this case, brush hairs. This one is just one I'm trying to get rid of and that is the colour vibrance protection because I used to dye my hair bright orange and red but as you can see I've got new hair and it's kind of going, it's um an ombre style effect. I had a trim, I had like four inches off guys, it's a major deal for me. I haven't had my hair cut this short since I was like what, 13? So yes, enough of my hair but conditioner is what you all need. Is that it? I'm trying to think if there's anything else you need to know. You also need a towel. A hand towel is probably the best to use because you can fold it in ways that you need it. I am now going to shut up and leave you to it, so enjoy. So here we have my dirty brushes. As you can see, they definitely need a clean. I have my sponge too, which hasn't been used that much. But if you have any sponges, this is also how to clean them. Using your container, pour a generous amount of your chosen washing up liquid. Then take your virgin olive oil and pour about half amount of the container, so roughly half of what you've used of the washing up liquid. Then take your first brush. Now what you're going to do here is you can either rinse it under the tap and put it into the um, virgin oil and washing up liquid here as shown or you can just go straight in with the washing up liquid and olive oil and then rinse it under the tap. It doesn't matter whichever way works best for you, it's doing the same job. As you can see here, I am swirling my brush around my hands, basically getting the mixture into the brush, but you need to be very careful. Don't be too hard or vigorous with your brush, just swirl it around. What has worked for me is covering your whole hand with the soap and then rinsing it off with my hand. You don't want to put the brush into the water so much because we don't want those bristles falling out. Because remember, they are stuck on with glue. As you can see I'm holding the brushes in a downward angle. This prevents any of the water seeping through the bristles and into the stem of your brush. When you're happy with your brush and making sure all of the product is out, make sure you again just pull down on those bristles not too too much as you do not want them to fall out but just enough so you can squeeze all of that water out and any excess mixture in your brush. As you can see here with my big powder brush, there's a lot of powder in this. Just keep 
swirling and rinsing. It's, it's the same process for each and every single brush. Just remember not to be too hard or vigorous on those bristles. Here I'm using my contour brush. Now with this brush, you may know it's a different kind of um, angled brush. So with those more complicated angle brushes, make sure when you rinse off the mixture and chemicals that are inside these brushes to just rinse it in the shape that it was before. If, we, if you don't do that, then they're gonna dry um, like really off and the bristles will start to go in all different kinds of directions, which we don't want. Onto the sponge. Now with the sponge you just simply need to do exactly the same thing. So make sure all, all of the olive oil and washing up liquid is just pressed and squeezed into the, the sponge. As you can see it's starting to turn white. It's starting to bring a lot more colour back. I do find the process of the sponge is a lot longer than the brushes. This is a very time consuming process but yet effective and you will totally be happy with it in the end. Also remember with your sponge to keep it in shape as you're squeezing it. Make sure all of the mixture is out of that sponge because you do not want to be putting that back on your face with washing up liquid in it. I'm now taking my uh, blush brush. This is one of my favorite brush brushes to clean. I don't know why, I just find it so nice to clean every time. Again, your blush brush, if it is white, may not completely turn out white in the end, but it will be clean and it will be so soft, it is unreal even better than brand new most of the time. I found anyway. <laughs> I am now taking the conditioner and just pouring a small amount on my hand. Swirling the brush into the conditioner and lathering it all over my hand and then lathering it in the brush just so I know it's getting to every bristle basically. Repeat the process throughout all of your brushes. I'm not showing you every single brush here because I have so many and it'll be so long and you don't really need to see all that, you just need to see how it is done or how I do it. I do recommend you do this on a day where you're not going to be doing your face up or maybe possibly do your makeup first then wash the brushes. Once you're satisfied make sure you rinse all of the conditioner out just like you do with your hair in the shower or in the bath. You want to get it all out so it's nice and soft. This is what you should end up with, lots of clean brushes. Now I do recommend folding a towel, a hand towel as I said previously, and making sure that they are all facing downwards off a kind of slope, like a sloped angle. As you can see here I folded it so they slope down the towel. This prevents, as I said, any water that goes into the stem and damages those bristles. I'm laying them all out in OCD order <laughs> of like real techniques and then slowly going into my Zoeva brushes. As you can see here I am taking my Beauty Blender box and putting my Beauty Blender inside. This is just so there's no dust or anything that will get on that. And once that's done just lift the end of the towel over the brushes and you're good to go. Just leave them for seven to eight hours or overnight however you want to leave them and you should be fine for the morning to reapply your makeup. I recommend doing this every two to three weeks. 
some people do it every week I tend to do it every two to three weeks it's it's just because I don't really use that much makeup in the week so so I guess that's kind of one side to it if you use it your makeup a lot then do do it every week I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and comment below I will see you guys next time and thank you love you bye <laughs>